welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios and welcome to Premiere Friday. And yes, this really is a premiere. If you are here at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, September 22nd, we are right next door in the chat room. Come on over and say hi. I'd love to get to know you and make you a part of my troop. So, um, Fridays we do a little bit of everything if you're new here. And today, I'm going to be showing off a couple of projects I'm finishing. I want to talk about something that I did last Saturday. And so let's do the, what, what did I do last Saturday? Let's do that first. I spent three days in Springfield. And one of those was with my sister, Donna, from Crafty Lady Creations, Crazy Lady Creations. And we started out early Saturday morning and we went up to Halltown, Missouri, where we met up with another one of our crafty friends from uh, Spectrum Art Creations, which is Mimi or Sharma. And we had a great time. We got a surprise visit from Sharma's husband, from her daughter Taylor, and three of the grandkids. Had a nice long breakfast at Hood's Truck Stop. Highly recommend Hood's Truck Stop. Their breakfast, for sure, that I can attest, is amazing. After we spent a couple hours with Sharna and her troop, then Donna and I headed to Springfield, where we went to Relics, which is a antique mall. And we spent a couple of hours in there wandering around, and I found a couple of things. Well, first off, Donna found these. They looked like they were streamers from some kind of a celebration, a wedding perhaps. Simply made, the bell cap on the end, on the end of a uh, dowel rod, with some really soft lace and some pretty peach grosgrain ribbon trim. And the whole pack was like six bucks, so there was like 30 of them in here. And Donna sat at the hotel and split them apart, so we each got some of those, and of course, you know, we're not going to leave them as streamers. They're coming apart so we can use the ribbon and the lace and the pretty gold bells. So we have those. And I found these cute little pumpkins. Now, I have stuff sitting in my Amazon cart waiting for my Discover card to roll over. So I can pick those up. And they are a whole collection of Halloween charms. So I can have some of them for my journal next month, but there was these cute little pumpkins that I can use as a charm or I can snap the eye off, color them with my alcohol markers um, or my alchemy waxes and use them in journals. And I don't know how many there were in here, but I paid $4.50 initially for these. But this booth had a coupon in their booth that if you took it up to the register with your purchase, Everything was 40% off. So I got these at 40% off. I thought that was a really good deal. And I found another booth that had lots of Stampin' Up! retired stuff. And I had been wanting this set all dressed up for about eight, seven or eight years. This set retired the year before I joined Stomp Stampin' Up! And it change of address which I thought was kind of cool. Congratulations, all dressed up with somewhere to go. Happy birthday, fashionably wait, late, but worth the wait. And then it came in their original envelopes that snap. And it comes with three dies. It comes with this dress, this cute little 1950s dress, and then the dress form. And the dress form in particular is what I was after. So uh, this set cost me $26. And I was okay with that because the only other set I've had my eye on belonged to my sister-in-law. And she just hasn't been willing to turn loose of it. So I got tired of waiting. Now this says there's a oh yeah, set of four stamps and three dies. So got that. And then the other thing, and if it hadn't been for this, I'd, and I'd have walked out of there with only about $5.00. Because the other thing I found was this People magazine from August 2nd, 1999, which was the day that John F. Kennedy Jr.'s plane crashed. Um, 
and losing his own life, the life of his w wife, Carolyn Bissett, and her sister. And I collect things on the Kennedys in particular, and the Royals, and I have newspapers from the day that this happened. So I was happy to snag this People magazine. Now this People magazine in 1999 retailed for $2.99. You're not gonna find it for $2.99 on the newsstand today. So I have this to put in with my newspaper. I've had the idea for a story in the back of my head and it involves John F. Kennedy Jr. and Princess Di. Okay, so after we did relics, we went back to the hotel, to my hotel room, and my sister split up the streamers, and then we went driving around for a little bit, looking at yards. We love looking at landscaping and how people have their yards done. And then we went to a place called the Storming Crab. Now, the Storming Crab is boiled Cajun seafood trays. Now, think of a very large deep dish pizza pan filled with lots of seafood. And you can order them by dinner combos. You can create your own combos. They also have, you can add extras to your bag, which is this. You can chart, you can choose your boil flavor and your heat level. Um, they don't have number seven on here. And everything is based on current seafood market prices. So the prices vary from trip to trip. Um, number seven run us a run me about $87 and change a piece. But there was enough for each of us to have two meals. Uh, Donna took half of hers home. I brought half of mine home. Uh, I added another set of crab legs from my freezer to mine and Bob and I had seafood for dinner on Monday night. So that made it easy. We also split a bowl of crawfish etouffee, which we both love. I was first introduced to crawfish etouffee at her house in Baton Rouge in about 1981, 82, somewhere in there. So that was a fun, a fun memory for both of us to enjoy. So we really enjoyed Storm and Crab. And I just noticed they have a create your own lunch combo. Hmm, Monday through Friday from 11 to four. And I'm gonna be in town on Saturday. Hmm. I may have to rethink some storming crap again. Okay, so from there, uh, I took Kitty back home. And then Sunday afternoon, I went to Joanne's and I found this ribbon. And let me see if I can get something behind this so you can see it. It almost has a spider web effect to it. There you go. And this was uh, by the spool. So I bought the whole spool regularly $9.98. But I got it for 50% off with a coupon. Now I'm going to explain coupons to you here in a second. Something I did not know and you may not know as well. Now there is supposed to be, I think, three yards on here. Three feet. Three feet on here. And it's it's short. I mean, it's if it's three feet, it's going to be really tight. So I was that having that kind of a spider web look. I thought this would be really cool for my October junk journal. So I didn't buy it to hoard it. I bought it to use. So I have that. So that was 50% off. And then they had this lace that I also got for 50% off. And there are about 18 or 20 of these flowers on this ribbon strip. Now, here's the thing that I learned that I did not know. If you have a paper coupon from either the mailer or, or the website that you can take a percentage off of, you can use that. But if you also have the app, you can use that on a different item. So you can get 50% off two different, two different items because the SKUs for those coupons are different between the mail and the app. So something to keep in mind when you do that. Then I spent some time at Borders before I came home. And I picked up a couple of new witchy books. This is the Witch's Yearbook. I wanted something a little different. I like the layout of this one. So I can play with this a little bit. And then I got Soul and Spirit Magazine. And this is from the UK. 
but the thing is, is it was in those sealed bags, you know, like our stamp magazines with the stamp sets come in. This one came with a weekly affirmations calendar, 52 oracle cards. And what you do is, if it's autumn, you pull an autumn card and it will tell you community. I cherish the time I spend with loved ones and the community, this Samhain. And there's a different card for each a different different set of cards for each of the seasons and I thought that was pretty cool so that was different and came home with me did I need new Oracle cards no but these were different and I had never seen soul and spirit magazine before so that was that then I had to go back to Walmart and take some uh, spoiled watermelon back and this was laying in the parking lot isn't this cute? It's a little girl's bib. And it looked like it had been run over a few times. I brought it home and washed it. I was looking to see. It looks like it's maybe up to 4T. So I have the sparkly pink tool. I have this cotton underneath. And then there's the bib with the unicorn. So added that to my stash. So, there was that. Some little girl is missing her tutu. Okay, now let's see. I've been spending all day today going through paper pumpkins, getting the rest of them broke down. And I've got a couple of sets here really quick. I'm going to see what I can do. This one we had done on camera. This one and this one. And I had stamped snowflakes on the insides. But I have a couple that I don't know if all the components are here to do. So we have this one. Nope, I don't have the Santa Claus to do. I have everything but Santa. So I'll have to come back and do Santa and the letters. I'm not sure where the letters went to. Oh, I'm sitting in this corner and I think I'm going to melt. Um, I've had to turn the AC on in my office today. I got really hot in here yesterday to the point of almost being sick last night. So um, was trying to avoid that today. So I guess we will not be putting those cards together today. How about if I give you a sneak peek as to what we're going to be talking about on Wednesday? It's top secret. Drinking my coffee first. I'm really thirsty. I probably should be drinking water. Bob is outside putting together the new pool cabinet, which is... Um, a cabinet that will hold all of my all of the cushions for our gazebo furniture plus our pool items so my um, my floater and that kind of stuff out there so here's what I've been working on I told you it's top secret so I'm going ahead instead of doing this Wednesday let's go ahead and do this today now I have made four of my folders and I got this idea and I've got one here that's a little off so let me trim him down a little bit more uh, now I really messed him up because I didn't have my fussy scissors now I really messed him up oh well we'll fix him later so I have I'm gonna have a total of five of these we're gonna put another one together here in a minute I found this image on Pixabay and printed it out on vellum and actually what I did was I took it first and I copied it copy and pasted it over into a word document so I had six of these to a page then I printed them out on vellum and they're simply just little file folders keeping with our file folder theme here and then I have these little paper clips from Tim Holtz that I'm putting in here and I'm probably going to put this inside here with whatever I put on the inside okay so I have four of those so let's make one together really quick and then I'll show you how I'm going to use them like I said I was sticking with the whole file folder theme here so remember I showed you a couple of weeks ago that I had the graphic 45 file folder die that I was going to use for this I can't find it I have no clue where it went so I decided to make my own. I took a piece of what would look like an old brown file folder 
and I cut it five by seven, scored it to three and a half, and then this is where we're going to um, do this. Now, I had first measured this using my centering ruler, and I figured that I needed to be on the one and sixteenth mark, but when I lined up that one and sixteenth mark on my envelope punch board, it actually came out to be on the five eighths mark because I wanted to center my tab in the center of this. So I put it on the five eighths mark and that lined up perfect with my pencil line. Pulled it out, flipped it over, put this one on the five eighths again. And sometimes if you make that measurement and then figure out where that measurement is gonna take you, you can find it on the envelope punch board and make it work as you just saw. Okay, so now I have this, but I don't have, I've got these other wings. So what I'm doing, take my ruler and go to the base of those markings and my pencil, and I'm just gonna draw across there on those two tabs that I don't want. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cut those off. My scissors need cleaned really bad. Apparently I use these for glue and I shouldn't have. Okay, so I'm gonna come back in and I gotta put up over close for me so I can see the pencil line that I drew. But see, that comes out right at the base of that mark. And then I'll flip it around and I'll do the same thing. Follow that pencil mark right over there and I cut that one just a little high so let's trim it off just a little more and that gives us our center tab okay now when we fold this on the fold line we can't see our tab this has to come off about a quarter inch so on here and my quarter inch I think is what I took off no I took off three quarters of an inch three quarters of an inch. I know it seems like a lot, but you'll see when we fold it what a difference it does make. So I'll put that back over here away. And then I'm coming in with my little puncher. And I'm going to round my corners off. I can't use my big one on my glass mat because I can't press down on it. So I'm using that. And then I came in with my walnut stain and dusted my edges of my file folders and I'm going to fold it up like this, do this one, do this one, give it that distressed look like it's been sitting around somewhere forever. And remember to get a solid fold crease on the front and flip it over and burnish from the back and your project will lay flatter. And then I just took my top secret and get it wrapped around my finger. <laughs> and before I ran these through the Xyron to make the sticker, I also dusted the edges of these with the uh, walnut stain. And I just slapped it down here at an angle, just like that. And then this will go on here to hold, hold whatever I decide to put in the file folder. So what am I going to do with these? I will show you. These are going to go inside each one of my folders. Just like this. So when I do... Uh, a couple of the center, a couple of the stitchings on the inside when I sew my signatures in, these will go inside the signature stitching. So they'll be like that. Now Denise asked if I was going to stagger my tabs on these. And no, I'm not staggering them because they're not going to show. They are inside each folder, just like that. So you're not going to see those. Am I going to put a tab on the outside of these folders? Hadn't thought about it, but Denise has me thinking. Go, Denise, for making me think. <laughs> I love you for it. It makes life interesting. So that is where we're at. Um, I will be back tomorrow with a sex Saturday. Um, I have a challenge. 
using three quarter designs that I hope to get done. I'm recording this on Thursday, so I hope to get that done while you're watching this tomorrow or right after the premiere tomorrow. And so it will be ready for Saturday. So I'm putting together a small journal using products from three quarter designs for a challenge at Natty's at Spectrum Art Creations. And remember, we have our live sale tomorrow afternoon. We start at about 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Maddie's YouTube channel and on Sac Saturday you will find all the links for Maddie in the description box. So I hope you'll come back tomorrow to see what I have created for the three-quarter designs. Will you stop? <laughs> come back tomorrow to see what I've created for the three-quarter designs from Spectrum Art Creations. Uh, no shop Sunday this week. I had planned to get one done, but I'm trying to get stuff done because I'm leaving a day early to meet with my daughter in Springfield. Our birthday is Tuesday, and she has to come through town on the 24th. I've not seen my daughter in four years. So we are going to get together on Sunday while Bob is babysitting the house, and we're going to go to the Wonders of Wildlife Museum at Bass Pro. So. I'm looking forward to Sunday, but I will be back Monday with a card video. So come on back for that too. I'm still, we're still rolling on here. So thanks for joining me in the studio today. Remember like to share, subscribe and create the blessings.